this is Artifacts of Mars. And I'm going to... I've reopened the Alien Artifacts, and I have a lot of content moved in. I'm working on things. And I want to take you on a little tour. There's going to be short opening ceremony, official opening ceremony, on Labor Day at 8 a.m. Second Lifetime, which is Pacific Coast Time. Same thing. This is uh, the Welcome Center. I don't have anything in it other than a teleport pad right now and a sign. I'm uh, doing a greatly expanded uh, alien part of this for the simple reason I was really shaken up by my sighting in 2013 in Monroe County. You see something like that up in the sky and you realize that there's no way this craft that I saw came from this world unless we have something that's so advanced that the public can't even imagine it. Which I suppose is a possibility. Take you on tour of the holodex and then well, I'm gonna take you on tour of the skyboxes and then we'll go from there. Uh we'll look at the uh, holodex that's down here and some future plans. I want to get back to my research. Part of the alien abduction experience is idea that uh, people are being taken on board alien spacecraft and examined. So this is a medical exam table that I have in my inventory and this little skybox is where people would uh, RP this stuff. I don't know why the thing's not cooperating and when to show it. It's supposed to uh, supposed to respond and it's not. This place though is for uh, Basically for RP, uh, RP your uh, experiences if you want. And try resetting the scripts. I can wrestle with this later. At any rate. That's for RP uh, alien abduction type scenarios. Now we're going to take a look at other skybox that I have. This is for, uh, this is a future area. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do scene recreations based on known UFO, uh, known UFO incidents. I don't have any content moved in here. It's just show you it's, uh, basically the same size as, uh, three pieces of land that I have. Only it's the skybox that's uh, way above them. Not much to see here, so 
We'll go back down and we'll take a look at the uh, reservoir system I have set up. Same reservoir system I uh, did it a little bit differently. Oops. Okay, this is uh, work area. It's basically the same as the other, as one on top of another. This one is to uh, create the scenes. I'm just going back down to the visitors area. Yes, sometimes I don't even remember what's on the menu there. Okay, this is the uh, primary holodeck. The uh, selectors are on the left here. They're not loading very well. This is uh, Spirit Souls 519 that I'm resing right now. Just blatantly obvious artifacts in these uh, photos. Blatantly obvious. That's a design board I did a long time ago. There's a photo. Basically, this is self-serve, and anyone who just wants to uh, click on it can res the displays. It's not really any different than it used to be uh, a long time ago. We'll do one more. This is a Firehouse Anomaly uh, photo. Spirit Souls of 728. There's a model I created for a strange object that's in it. Firehouse one I haven't really even done a model for it. That's going to be a real challenge if I ever get around to it. That's basically what we have here. Let's show one more thing, which is our fact model donation center. I'm trying to get all the people active in designing the artifact models by looking at the pictures. Now I've got the uh, I got this set up for six days. Six days return. There should be plenty of time. I'm in here at least over a couple of days. Nobody's put anything in here. What I'll do is I'll take a model and put it in here. Full perms, no scripts. Design a model based on Mars photo. Full perms, no script. And just leave it in this building and I'll uh, deal with it. We'll see to it they get the credit and everything. I don't get any donations on any models so I might uh, turn that back into a design building again.
And this is the uh, saucer this guy came with. This avatar that I'm wearing. It definitely flies. It's a little unstable. I've never liked it all that much. But it makes a good movie prop at least. You see it in uh, my uh, Bible series. Uh, photos. Finally, this is the same little area I showed you upstairs when the uh, skybox. They actually just have playground here. The UFOs are on this planet. Right now we have an issue uh, going with UFOs, the, this greenish type thing, and they're being seen all over the place. At a time when we have very high world tensions, I think it's very interesting that we're seeing these things all over the place. Yeah. I mean, the tensions in the Middle East are extremely high right now. Same thing with uh, Far East. And it could explode at any time. Or it could go out with... We could just continue on the way we've been. And that much in the end of the world crowd for the simple reason that they end the world about ever too... Uh, days and it's still here. If you know, uh, look up on YouTube, the end of the world videos are a diamond dozen. So I won't worry, I'm not too awful worried about uh, that. Anyway, this is New Alien Artifacts. It's open now. I will be uh, having a little ceremony, hopefully, at 11 a.m. Um, it's 11 a.m. Eastern or 8 a.m. Pacific on Second Lifetime. 8 a.m. Second Lifetime. 11 a.m. my time on Labor Day. I'm going to shoot off some fireworks and if I get any visitors, I'll uh, certainly have a few words to say about it. I'm happy that this place is open up. I'm going to try to get back in my research. I have so little a uh, time that I'll have to sacrifice something else in order to do the research. That's about it. Thanks for watching. And welcome to the new alien artifact.